Do you have everything? I think I do. Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm Tanya Matthews. And I'm Philip Brown. Today we'll be taking you through the beautiful state of Virginia, and more specifically, we'll be heading up to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Along with the Pacific Coast Highway, the Blue Ridge is considered by many to be one of America's most scenic drives. The highway was designed for both the driver and the co-pilot in mind. So the roads are smooth and wide, and there's no shortage of things to see. It really gives you a great chance to enjoy the beauty of this unspoiled part of the country. Well, let's go. I'm oh, hungry. Are you? We've got tons of groceries. Great. The Blue Ridge Parkway winds 469 miles through the unspoiled scenery of the Appalachian Mountains. Running roughly parallel to Interstate 81, the parkway is intersected by several highways that make it easy to reach and to exit. The Blue Ridge will take you from the Shenandoah National Park in Virginia right to the Great Smoky Mountains in North Carolina. With elevations ranging from 650 to over 6,000 feet, the bird watching, hiking and camping opportunities are endless. This is the kind of road that should be enjoyed at a leisurely pace. The guidebook we picked up called the parkway a high road of adventure, meant to be seen on a ride a while, stop a while basis. It sounds like an invitation written just for RV travelers. Distances along the parkway are noted by these milepost markers. The zero mark can be found at the northernmost point of the Blue Ridge in Rockfish Gap, Virginia. This is where the I-64 meets the Shenandoah National Park. Sites along the way are listed with their milepost numbers, so you can estimate distances easily. Because this is a scenic drive, the speed limit is only 45 miles per hour, and sometimes even slower. If you're calculating travel times, 30 miles per hour will give you a pretty accurate estimate. Our trek on the parkway begins just north of milepost zero, near the town of Lurie, Virginia. Around here, there are 64 acres of underground limestone caves, and they're open daily for guided tours. The Lurie Caves feature a wide array of mineral deposits. These stalactite and stalagmite columns and cascades are actually growing slowly. The dripping water builds just one cubic inch of these formations every 120 years. Driving south, you can visit one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the Natural Bridge of Virginia. If you're looking for a chance to get out and stretch, there are hiking trails of various lengths along the way, and they're clearly marked. For the adventurous, the Appalachian Trail runs parallel to the parkway as far south as Roanoke. But that's over 540 miles, so you may want to tackle it in smaller chunks. You're also invited to fish the lakes in Ponju Pass, though swimming is not allowed. Up here, the panoramic views are a real thrill, so give in to the temptation to pull over and breathe in the pure mountain air. There are many charming attractions and towns that you'll pass along the way. To find them all, pick up a map and a guidebook at one of the many visitor centers. We decided to stop at the Peaks of Otter, found at milepost 84. Open year-round, it features a picnic area, trails, and one of the many campgrounds found on the parkway and throughout the Blue Ridge Highlands. And we were happy to find that this was only the beginning of what the Blue Ridge Parkway has to offer. <laughs> 